Hi there, this is JK from the Ministry of Otaku, 14 year veteran of the anime convention scene and otaku graphic. Today, this video will be about Vosh, the YouTube uh, socialist libertarian streamer slash commentator, but it's worth knowing that he's revealed himself to be a authoritarian when it comes to recent events with the Great Lockdown and the current gen hysteria. He is also into anime, and the anime he enjoyed is FLCA, which is which ha he has a profile picture that's based on one of the main characters of the anime, Cowboy Bebop, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, also Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, uh, Golden Kamui, Legend of the Galactic Heroes, Beastars, Doho the Do, Mob Soccer 100, and BNA. And also Promare for some reason. But this video reveals and reveals otherwise, and I actually argue that he is a fake anime fan with this video about uh, Gurren Lagann. Now, for those who don't know, Gurren Lagann was uh, Gainax's uh, legendary uh, anime, which legendary anime revolving drills, uh, robots, and spells. Seriously, go, go watch the anime. I'm not going to spoil you, spoil the entire plot. But anyway, here's his video that someone else clipped about how Gurren Lagann is problematic. Now let's watch these clips. Whole cosmos is consumed by the two, but thematically the second one is just not as good, okay? I do not like it as much for so many reasons. First of all, I understand you like titties, and I like titties, but some of the fan service in the movie for Gurren Lagann just comes off inappropriate to me. Like, this is like humanity's triumphant conquest over the obliteration of the universe, and they're like literally like flopping titties on the screen during, you know? That's... I, look, I don't have a problem with fan service, but like, that's not, no. I understand that anime fans are degenerates and whatever. I'm just not for that. And Seriously, you don't like fan service? You're an anime fan. I mean, fan service is something that you get used to as a as a guy. You get acclimated to fan service. Fan service, which is in character websites or in, uh, in, uh, like, or panty shots or, uh, or bra shots. Uh, have been a part of anime for for decades. Uh, I mean, seriously, if if you're not into fan service or don't enjoy fan service, are you really an anime fan? Are you a really an anime otaku? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Just, let's see if it's not clip here. Okay. Here are all of the things that I didn't like about Gurren Lagann, which is an anime that was incredibly good, and I like it generally, but here are the things that I didn't like about it, okay? First of all, Yoko was 14 in the beginning of the series, and they fan service the fuck out of her, and I think that's disgusting, okay? I mean, seriously, Yoko Litano is 14 years of age, it, but if, she, if, if he did any research, and I think he ignored the fact that uh, Yoko Litano, uh, in the time skip, was, it became 21 years of age. Because in, in Guru Lagan, due to the fact that the world is post-apocalyptic, they count time differently. Since all of civilization in the first half of the anime is underground. Now, is it Yoko that is, uh, that is that looks like an adult, but four but four but she is fourteen. Here's the thing. The show is fictional. The show is very fictional. And 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 there comes this and and we have something called a suspension of, of disbelief. Uh, Vaj, uh, breaks into that suspension of disbelief. He thinks fictional shows should reflect reality. What, she, what he doesn't understand or refuses to realize that it is a fictional show. 
We know she's she's fourteen. We know she has good looks. Uh, she's more mature than her age. Her body's more mature than her age. But seriously, seriously. The weird thing is, is that Yoko doesn't even look fourteen. This is this thing anime does. We know where, she doesn't look um, like fourteen. Where they know they have degenerates in the audience, so they're like, "Well, we have to have hot girls." But we should make them look like adults, but actually, let's say they're kids. It's like the opposite of, like, the thousand-year-old lolly thing, where they look like basically adults, but then they get, like, made 14. It's really, really weird. And the only reason this is a thing, by the way, um, as far as I'm concerned, is to, um, is, is just to play to degens, okay? I just think it's really fucked up. Well, maybe because it's a fictional show. It's a fictional show... We all know that she, she's 14. It's a fictional show. Vosh doesn't get it. It's a fictional show. Now, I mean, seriously, there are plenty of kids and youth who watch the show and don't know any better, and they don't care as long as the show is entertaining. If the show is really entertaining, I don't, I don't care. Next. They hadn't done that. There's really no reason Yoko had to be 14. It's a fictional I don't understand show. Why. Anyway, all that aside, um, I think that like the biggest weakness of the show, like thematically, is the fact that its understanding of masculinity is, in addition to being kind of outmoded, is also really, really fucking patronizing. Um, Maybe because the whole... uh, men, of all of all intents and purposes, may because men basically. They basically uh, make this world walking. You have uh, men working dangerous jobs as first responders, as garbage men, working in the toughest jobs, especially in the trades, especially as electricians. I mean, there's this photo of a man actually walking on a on an electric uh, carrier on these electric wires. High off the ground. Men make the world walk. They make the world running. The whole, like, analogy of the show, uh, of, of Gurren Lagan is the idea that the spirit that propels humanity forward, like our sort of driving spiritual force as a species, is tied intrinsically to the masculine virtues of persistence, determination, and ambition. And that, um... And that it is those masculine... That is basic manhood there. The, those are the basic traditional values of masculinity there. The show is basically manhood, the anime. How to achieve manhood. Traits that push humanity forward. And they do this uh, by inextricably linking... Uh, spiral power, which is the magical force used in the show, to masculinity and people's feelings of masculinity. In the show, people... Basically, love and sex and strength. Basically, what this anime is. Basically, using your manhood to push humanity forward. Through the skies and space. And defeat, and defeat the uh, spirals that want to uh, eradicate humanity. Mostly Simon, who is the main character, uh, has the ability to use spiral energy more and more, depending on whatever masculine feelings they have at the time. It's very, it's like a feels-based mecha like show, if that makes any sense. Same with Kamina. Um, all of their strength comes from a set of characteristics that are directly linked to what makes them a man, which is all reinforced by the fact that Kamina is constantly talking about how this is what makes you a man, this is what men are, this is how men live, this is what men do. Um, and also, by, at several points, very, Kama very... Kama is basically teaching uh, Simon how to be a man. And in the second half of the anime, Kama has to use the same, the same uh, lessons... Kama taught to lead his pack, to lead his tribe, to fight against the spouse. All that makes sense. 
very explicitly indicating that the power of the spiral is connected in some way to feelings of sexual attraction or conquest over women. That is to say, whenever a dude's feeling virile AF, uh, he's gonna pilot that mecha. Now, I don't have anything, like, inherently... And it's all about mechs. Basically, Spa Angie is in men. And men love to pilot mechs. I mean, seriously. I mean, seriously. It's all about mechs. I mean, Go Login is a mecha show. And most men pilot mechs. Men spar energy, mechas, what's, what's there, what's there, what's there to not like? I mean, seriously, men love mecha. Wrong? I, I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with uh, an allegory which relates masculinity to strength, because <laughs> that's a pretty old allegory, you know? The issue is that the spiral power that's tied to masculinity is also the driving force of all of humanity. Where does that leave women, exactly? That's a little bit weird, right? Because in the show, like, women are strong. Women have their own place in in that anime as e as uh, equals, as just as strong and beautiful as the men are, are basically tough and strong. They both come in each other, but the men are the leading force of the show because they have the spiral energy. And... And it's definitely a metaphor for sex. And I think, uh, and, and, and it's worth knowing that most of the people who work on, uh, Gurren Lion also, uh, also worked on, also move over from Garnet to Trigger. And Trigger has Kill or Kill, which is also about sex, but more about women, focus on women instead of men. And stuff, but the spiral power that literally like magnifies the strength of humanity is pretty directly tied to men and men alone. Women are strong in their own ways, but it's not spiral power. It's yeah, you know. It's just like their own strength. So that's a little bit odd to me, you know. It's seriously, this. I mean, uh, girl, girl lugging is a, is basically a huge metaphor for sex. He was metaphor for sex, and he was metaphor for, uh, for men. Basically, men have to be strong enough to pierce the heavens. Basically, strong enough to defeat anyone, either sexually or through, or through strength. Basically, uh, Girl Logan is about manhood, and Kill or Kill is about womanhood. Both are good anime. Word of God, don't please stop. Do you think Kill a Kill is problematic? Absolutely. Because Why the fuck do they have to be high school For girls? good reason. Because most of the uh, people who watch anime are those who used to, go to, uh, used to go to high school. In Japan, high school is their highest. Uh, it's their peak of their lives. Uh, second after college, because after college, you have to uh, you have to focus on following the life script of getting a job, starting a family, raising children, and being a grandparent. Uh, I mean seriously, um, Kill or Kill is all about womanhood, and and I, and that's a good reason why almost every anime, about half anime, takes place in high school. Because it gives them a form of escapism. It's escapism. Even though I don't like the trend of... Uh, I don't like the uh, trend of... Uh, every, almost every anime that has to fall in high school. Now, there are anime that are featured in... Uh, that anime that are featured in... Uh, let me see. That anime that is featured in... Uh, in college... Like, uh, uh, My Goddess and Genshiken. Most people who watch anime want to see, see places set in high school. Because cause that's, that's what their good memories are.
Ugh. I swear to God, there's so much good anime out there, okay? But it's like somebody went over with, like, next to the anime factory with a sewage truck and just sprayed liquid shit all over it. And the liquid shit was, like, we are comfortable sexualizing, like, young people. All right. I mean, here's the thing. Vosh, here's the thing about Vosh. He has defended unlawful, unlawful sexual content involving children. He is a new proletarian. He's opposed to sexualization of fictional characters. It, regardless of age. Like like uh even though they we know it's fictional, like uh like fifteen year olds, adults, teens, youth adults. Yet he doesn't oppose to sexualization of actual children in real life. He has actually defended, uh, motions. He actually defended material of, uh, cheese pizza, if you know what I mean. Still don't care. I still think that, like, um, zoophile porn, like, drawn stuff, it should be 100% legal. In fact, and this is going to be a real hot take, I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. Actual child pornography. How Basically, unlawful sexual material involving children. He has made these statements in the past, and on his Discord channel, he has made uh, numerous. He has actually made uh, numerous statements agreeing with people on his Discord channel that have uh, that have feelings towards uh, children underage. Uh, let me tell you straight up, pedophilia is one of the worst things you could you could have. As a child, and seriously, I have no. There's no mercy for sex offenders, or anyone that defends sex offenders. I mean, seriously, people like him have a nasty habit of having skeleton in a skeletons in the closet. People, it's 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 been proven time and time again that people who are opposed to fan service, or or ill gay, or hentai have massive problems with cheese pizza. Uh, unlawful sexual content with children in their possession. This happens time and time again, and I'll be surprised if Vosh has a massive, a massive uh, collection of CP. Alright, close all these stupid fucking tabs. Aren't they high school age because the target audience is high school teens? Nope. The most fervent consumers of um, of anime are like otakus in their 30s. And those are the ones who buy, buy the Blu-rays too. Also, even if... In Japan, in the United States, there are a whole variety of people who enjoy anime. Men, women, uh, children, youth. All of them buy Blu-rays in... All of them I have can watch anime streaming or through the or through the high seas. I mean, there are many ways to get your anime and purchase anime. You can easily buy uh, anime Blu-rays for thirty to forty dollars at Walmart or or Amazon, uh, right stuff, or even your local anime convention. When your anime convention has not been uh, has not been. Devoured by the Kron Chan cult. But in Japan, most of the people who buy anime are four year olds with lots of money who, who, who can buy the Blu rays at $30 per volume. In the United States, you can get whole, uh, the whole, a whole series for just $34. In Japan, it's basically $30 per Blu-ray for every one to four episodes. Everyone who watched anime was like a high schooler. That doesn't mean that the next follow-up is like, okay, so let's have all the characters in anime be high schoolers, and then let's all sexualize them. I don't think that's like a necessary follow-up to that. I'm not saying that you... I'm not saying you can't have fucking high school characters in anime or anything. I'm just saying. Yeah, here's the thing. Your here's the thing. Foss is a fake anime fan, and we got too many fake anime fans in the in the anime community. 
especially on Twitter. I mean, a person who is into anime but not into fan service, that's someone that should be, that is not considered an anime fan or an anime otaku. But I do give Vosh credit for watching the entire anime show of Girl Luggin. But it doesn't excuse the fact that he actually supports uh, unlawful child, uh, unlawful uh, sexual material with children, or support any possession of it. Fosh is definitely a fake anime fan. If anyone doesn't like fan service in anime, he they're basically neo puritarians and we don't need any more neo puritarians in the anime community or the Antakodom. This Jake is signing out. Hopefully you have a good day, have a good evening. Thanks for watching. If you if you are uh, if you think Fosh is a fake anime fan or not or not anime or not anime fan, basically if Fosh is a fake anime fan or not, uh, uh drop a comment below. Uh give a like or sus like and subscribe and ring the doorbell for notifications and share this video. We need to call out fake anime fans. In the, uh, in the anime community. Because it's already destroying the anime com community as it is. And we don't need more more of them. Uh, not, not for the record, I am a leftist. A moderate leftist. I support uh, single pair. I support UBI. But with the events going on, yeah. Yeah. For people like Vosh. Are basically destroying uh, our cultural scene, and they're trying to end escapism. So anyway, leave a like, subscribe, comment, uh, share your thoughts about this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, try having not try have a let's say try have a a good uh, good day, afternoon, evening, wherever.